Researchers are continually striving to improve the efficiency of solar cells. But what exactly does the term efficiency mean in the solar industry? How is it measured? Find out in this video. This video is part of iPolytech's online course on solar energy. iPolytech, professional development courses for engineers. The efficiency of a solar cell is equal to the ratio between the electrical power it produces and the power it receives from the sun. To measure the efficiency of a solar cell or solar module, the standard value of E equals 1000 watts per meter squared is used. According to this definition, the smaller the area needed to produce Pmax, the higher the efficiency. So how is Pmax measured? By constructing the IV curve, or the current versus voltage curve of the solar cell. The current that is measured when there is no voltage is called the short circuit current, or ISC. At this point, power equals zero. The voltage that is observed when no current is flowing is called the open circuit voltage, or VOC. At this point, power also equals zero. Since power equals current times voltage, the PV curve is obtained by multiplying point by point all the voltages and currents between the short circuit and open circuit conditions. Then we can simply read Pmax since it is the peak of the PV curve. Once we know Pmax, we can read VMP or the voltage at maximum power from the PV curve as well. Next, we we'll use the IV curve to determine IMP or current at max power from VMP. In general, Pmax is found near the elbow of the IV curve. We see that Pmax decreases considerably as the irradiance decreases because of cloud cover, for example. Temperature also has a strong influence on Pmax. As the temperature of the solar cell increases, the voltage it generates decreases. At the same time, the current it produces increases very slightly. Therefore, the net effect is an overall decrease in the power produced by the solar cell. Standardized tests are used to determine Pmax. They make it possible to compare devices that differ in technology and manufacturer. These tests are carried out under the following standardized conditions. An incident radiation flux of 1000 watts per meter squared, a solar cell temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, four measuring points are used, two for voltage and two for current, Finally, spectral conditions, air mass of 1.5. This means that the composition of the spectrum used is identical to the solar spectrum after it crosses an air thickness equal to 1.5 atmospheres. This corresponds to an angle of incidence of 41.8 measured from the horizontal. Lamps meeting these specs are placed above the solar cell. The solar cell is placed on a block that allows the measurement of its front and back voltage and current. Cooling water runs through the block to maintain the cell temperature at 25 degrees Celsius. Finally, a variable load is used to take readings along the IV curve. In this video, we've seen how efficiency is defined and measured. We're ready to calculate the number of modules we need for a given power output. What are the basic calculations involved in sizing a PV system? Find out in our next video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.